गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस जस्ट वन सेकंड आई जस्ट बी बैक वन सेकंड आई जस्ट बी बैक एक मिनट So you able to hear me? Okay, we'll begin the discussion for today, guys, and uh, we're going to continue the discussion as we were supposed to. And uh, in today's session. We're going to continue some more uh, current affairs, which has been in news recently. Okay. Now, <coughs> Kavari Yatra. Uh, Kavari Yatra recently started. This actually have, uh, began recently. It is going to continue till the 15th of uh, July. The Kavar Yatra is going to continue till the 15th of July. And uh, it's basically happens in the Ganga pilgrimage. Pilgrims actually, uh, this is basically a pilgrimage where millions of devotees known as Kavar Yatra, Kriyas, they actually carry this uh, arch type of things to undertake a journey to collect water from the Ganga river and offer it to Lord Shiva. Kavar Yatra basically symbolizes an unbreakable bond between devotees and Lord Shiva. The highlights say unbreakable bond between devotees and Lord Shiva and is considered an act of faith. It's basically they're carrying water all the way from um, the uh, Ganga river to Lord Shiva. And they, <laughs> do this on a uh, yearly basis and this guy is symbolism hai why Kavar Yatra is uh, done. There's a reason. Uh, one is to symbolize the Samudra Manthan. Kavar Yatra is believed to have originated in the mythological story of Samudra Manthan where Lord Shiva consumed poison to actually to save the world and uh, to elevate the effects of poison. Um, all the gods poured water uh, from um, Ganga river to Lord Shiva. Good morning. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, 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 Sandeep. Also, another version which suggests why the Kavari Yatra is actually done is because this is when King Ram, uh, Raj, uh, King Ram offered water from Ganga to a statue of Lord Shiva in an earthen pot. See, this is my point of view, guys. I generally suggest people not to use the word Lord for indicating Rama. Okay, so let us not use the word Lord. Um, Lord, Lord Rama kabhi mustamal mat karna, kyunki in, 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 the, in, in British power circles, Lord is basically like an MP who falls under the king or the queen and... Uh, Bhagwan Ram kisi ke bhi niche nahi hai, wo khud Bhagwan hai. So, generally avoid using the word Lord Ram. It's, it's basically insulting and ignorating to our own uh, God. Okay, so <coughs> some of the important customs of the Kavariya Yatra is uh, yahan pe Ganga water they collect. Dressed in uh, saffron attire, embarked on a foot to collect water from Ganga river at Haridwar, Gomukh and Gangotri. They carry two earthen pots of this water. Um, hung on a decorated uh, bamboo stick with their balance on their shoulders. Okay. Ah, yes. If you are Namaste, right? God Ram. If you are now, if you don't, if you don't want to call him God and stuff, then yeah, King Ram. 
safest option. Raja Ram. The wood is considered is essential to keep the pots uh, free from touching the ground or getting contaminated by dust as it may be. It may impure the sacred water. That's why you don't keep the water below. You don't keep the water below. You know, Kavariyas undertake the yatra barefoot, covering long distances in challenging terrains and extreme weather uh, conditions. Now, another important uh, current affairs which has been there. Kavariyas undertake the yatra barefoot, covering long distances in challenging terrains and extreme weather conditions. Now, another important current affairs which has been there. Kavariyas undertake the yatra barefoot, covering long distances in challenging terrains and extreme weather conditions. Ocean Treaty, historic agreement has been successfully now signed. In Klaus Kander, um, United Member States have actually agreed uh, on a legal framework to protect the uh, world's oceans. So, wo ho gaya hai. so, the High Sea Treaty currently places 30% uh, of the seas into protected areas by 2030, aiming to safeguard and recuperate marine nature. I mean, a High Sea Treaty, a treaty signed kiya gaya recently. Marine biodiversity of areas beyond national jurisdiction, B, B, N, J, has been signed or commonly called the High Seas Treaty, adopted on June 19th. Okay, third agreement under UNCLOS after the International Seabed Authority and uh, Fish Stocks Agreement. After the UNCL was um, ISA and uh, Fish Stock Agreement. Now, what is the purpose of BBNJ is the treaty establishes marine protected areas to safeguard oceans from human activities and decision to protect areas require a three quarter majority vote. Three, one by four to prevent obstruction by a few parties. The treaty emphasizes capacity building and the use of marine technology for environmental impact assessment and uh, scientific and technical body will create standards and guidelines assisting countries with limited capacity in uh, carrying out assessments, primarily carrying out the assessments. Marine genetic resources, um, there are some challenges in actually uh, this entire treaty guys. So it is very difficult to ex I mean, identify what marine treaties actually look like or what are marine um, Restrictions. I mean, UNCLOS itself is so vaguely um, Marine genetic resources ke mein description bhi bahut difficult hai. and uh, the issue of sharing, exchanging information on marine genetic resources was a contentious point during negotiations. And basically during the negotiations of um, the High Seas Treaty and uh, definition of the use of phrases like promote or ensure in different parts of the treaty, particularly regarding benefit sharing spark heated debates. I mean, I'll tell you the problem. I'll tell you the problem. See, there are many developed countries which uh, exploit marine resources to the maximum extent. I mean, there are many countries which are very much marine resources ka exploit, exploitation. Karte hai. So, it tends to become very difficult. It tends to become very difficult to actually get a clarity on this. becomes very difficult to get a clarity on exactly what all happens and what all doesn't. Exactly, with Japan and uh, bigger countries having major issues.
then another problem is see unlike land borders marine borders are not clearly defined Marine borders are not at all defined. Exactly. The idea is to restrict marine exploitation in international seas. Now, the problem is where has the international marine water come? Right. That we don't know, right? Exactly. ये प्रॉब्लम है तो नाम के वास्ते इन लोगों ने सब दस्तखत तो कर दिए अब किस हद तक इन लोगों ने ऑनेस्टली सीरियसली किया है और किस हद तक ये इस पे चलो अमल करेंगे एंड दिल स्टे रेस्पॉन्सिबल इस वी नीड टू सी Exactly. So it depends. Several developed countries opposed to the treaty due to their support for private entities involved in advanced research and development of marine technology. In fact, like countries like Japan claims that they are also doing marine uh, research in marine technology. So, restricting them from accessing marine resources, it's, I mean, Japan says is bad uh, in terms of their existence. And Russia and uh, China also expressed reservations with Russia ultimately withdrawing during the final stage of consensus building. Arguing that the treaty lacks a balance between conservation and sustainability. Huh? See, it depends. At least, the way I put it is, at least an attempt was done. 
genuine and honest attempt. At least a genuine and honest attempt was done. Environment preservation. The high seas treaty is actually crucial to protecting marine biodiversity and addressing, uh, let's say, pressing issues. Um, Sandeep, I'll tell you, the entire purpose of this high sea treaty is not the ease and not the uh, the uh, your water depth. Not the easy, not your water thing. But actually, the um, marine or high seas are basically the waters which are not under anybody's control. Unfortunately, countries like Japan, countries, Scandinavian countries, countries like Russia, countries like America actually exploit these waters. अब वो फिशिंग के लिए हो या ऑयल एक्सप्लोरेशन के लिए हो या मिनरल केमिकल अब जो भी हो दे डू दिस अलॉट एंड दैट इज एक्चुअली क्रिएटिंग ट्रबल फॉर अस स्मॉलर कंट्रीज लाइक इंडिया एंड चाइना एंड आल्सो इट इज इंपैक्टिंग द एनवायरनमेंट वेरी वेरी बैडली इट्स हैविंग एन वेरी एडवर्स इंपैक्ट ऑन द एनवायरनमेंट It's having bad impact on the environment. And also, we we need to have a very strong um, global cooperation. Is my countries must not see this as an um, countries have to stop seeing this as. Um, Personal interest. It is actually generic interest or general interest of the people. Uh, china is small in terms of economic economic uh, capacity में china छोटा यार china is a developing country no right you agree with me china indeed is a developing country also isa <laughs> Another body which UNCLOS have recently, or another agreement which UNCLOS have actually signed, in, um, mainly to regulate seabed authority. It's basically international seabed authority, um, ocean floor beyond national jurisdictions. I mean, trying to mis uh, play around with ocean floors beyond jurisdictions. Established by UN Convention of Law of Seas, focuses on non-living uh, main resource. Basically, you know how seabed mein minerals nikalte hain, uspe control regulation karne ke liye. Iska ISA ka headquarters Jamaica mein hai. Mainly, mainly the idea is nobody owns a seabed. I mean, seabed doesn't belongs to anybody.
Panchasam member states and the European Union. Now, <coughs> another is FSA. <coughs> And uh, Fish Stocks Authority, an international treaty adopted by United Nations in 1995, mainly focuses on fish stocks, promotes cooperation among the states for sustainable fisheries management. And uh, at this point, Fish Stocks Authority have no headquarters. Yes, India also tried, India is also currently trying for hydrocarbon exploration in Indian, Indian Ocean, right? So, yes. Another important current affairs guys, Alluri Sitarama Raju, President, Honorable President Mahama Draupadi Murmu was in uh, Hyderabad and uh, she recently was at the closing ceremony of the 125th birth anniversary celebrations in Hyderabad. She, the President highlighted the significance of Raju's struggle against injustice and exploitation in India's freedom. See, uh, Alluri Sitarama Raju Alluri Sita Ramaraju is both a peasant leader as well as a freedom fighter. He is actually leader for both. He has been a central head in the freedom struggle. Also has been the central head in the um, peasant struggle. Like Rampa rebellion, one of the major uh, rebellions which happened in Andhra in the 1920s. He was actually the head. And... Uh, like the way I see it is, until now, Alluri Chita Ramaraju was actually seen more or less like a Telugu leader or a Telugu tribal uh, guy or you know, regional guy. But this is first time, one part of the anniversary, they've done it for um, <coughs> the government. And for him, the government has, central government has actually recognized his contributions and Raju was believed to be born in 1897 or 1898 in Andhra Pradesh. He became a sannyasi at the age of 18 and gained a mystical aura among the hill and tribal people due to his austerity. He had knowledge of astrology, medicine and believed that he also had the ability to tame animals, wild animals particularly. And Raju channeled most of his discontent of the hill people, particularly in the regions of Ganjam. Yes, uh, the character of, uh, I think, Ramcharan Tej was actually based on Alluri Sita Ramaraju loosely. Yes, <laughs> Ganjam, Vishakhapatnam, Godavari areas may he started effective guerrilla resistance. The Forest Act of 1882 and other colonial policies threatened the tribal uh, traditional podu cultivation, the traditional shifting cultivation of the podu cultivation. So he protested against that. The forest act, the tribals and mutadars, the village headmen who were affected by the containment of their powers by the British government together joined hands and went into an armed rebellion in 1922 called the Rampa Rebellion. Rampa Vidroham. So Rampa or Manyam Rebellion, 1922 to 24. The rebellion coincided with Mahatma Gandhi's non cooperation movement and the Mopala Rebellion. Raju admired Gandhi and promoted his ideas of wearing khadi and giving up alcohol. However, Raju believed that India could only be liberated through use of force. See, while Raju, Alluri Sitaram Raju agreed with some of the principles of Mahatma Gandhi, he was not completely a Gandhian. He was not like a non-violence supporting um, the free speech wale, um, the shanti duta nahi He believed that gun is a better solution. I mean, Raju literally believed that gun is a better solution for the problems of the British, for the problems created by the British. Now, Sita Ramaraju's resistance came to an end when he was captured by the British in May 1924. He was executed for his involvement in the rebellion. He was actually blasted. So Raju became a hero uh, known as Manyam Virudu or Manyam Hero. Manyam basically means forest, Virudu means hero or hero of the jungle. And his efforts are remembered as significant contribution to India's freedom struggle. I mean, he did significant big to freedom struggle. Alluri Sita Ramaraju played a very crucial role in leading guerrilla resistance against the British rule. And um, recently, Telugu governments actually celebrated his 125th anniversary. Now, culture the following statements regarding Deccan riots. The movement got support from Pune Sarvajanik Sabha. The main motive of the riots was to destroy the account books of the moneylenders. Deccan Agriculturists Relief Act was passed which ensured that farmers could not be arrested and imprisoned if they were unable to pay their debts. Which of the above statements are correct? 
Still try now. It was D. Yes, yes. I think it got <laughs> repeated from yesterday, no? Yes. <laughs> Deccan I said in the under treated conditions of debt peonage or Kaimudi to money lenders. Basically, mainly it was observed in some parts of Pune. Okay, Pune Sarvajanik Sabha supported in and Deccan Agricultural Commission Relief Act was actually passed. After, after consolidating their position in India, Delhi Sultans introduced reforms in land revenue administration. In this context, Ikta Abu, it's also repeated, no, sorry. In the British French rivalry to take control of Indian trade result in French failure. Which of the following can be possible cause of the French failure? I mean something happened there. Yes. The cause of French failure, British was superior in naval power. I know something happened. One second, guys. Okay. I understand. French had support only in Dakar, but uh, English had a strong base in Bengal. England's victory in European war decided destiny of the French India. Can you tell me the war in which French were conclusively defeated by the British? Which war was it? Which was the battle in which French were conclusively, completely defeated in India? <laughs> Vandy Wars, Battle of Mandavasi. <clears throat> Which of the following proposed separate electorate for Muslims for the first time? Separate electorate for the Muslims for the first time. <clears throat> And I've told you multiple times to remember this. When I say separate electorate, the problem with separate electorate was not giving just the electoral vote to the Muslims. The problem was in areas where there was separate electorate for Muslims, Hindus did not have a vote. Got it. So separate electorate system was created in such a way that even one vote, the other doesn't actually. Yeah, problem. The Indian Council Act 1909, also called the Minto Morley reforms, um, introduced by Lord Minto, is commonly known as the act which introduced separate electorate. The provision for separate electorate for Muslims is strongly believed to be the cause of partition of India because um, logic very simple, hey guys. So, first, separate electorates were given, were agreed. First, separate electorate was given, was agreed. And then, unfortunately, or you can say, bad luck. No, sabse bada bad luck tha. Uh, Congress in 1916 agreed to work with Muslim League and Congress also gave its approval for separate electorate. After Congress gave its approval for separate electorate, it basically became... <laughs> A problem, yes. <laughs> Jalanwala Bang massacre happened on the 13th of April at Amritsar. The crowd gathered to protest against the arrest of which of the following leaders? Dr. Saifuddin Kichlu, Dr. Satyapal, both A and B, none of the above. <laughs> Hmm. 
Dr. Saifuddin Kishlu and Dr. Satyapal, they were arrested by British government on a preventive detention before they could actually launch something big in Punjab because they both were seen as threat. Okay. Now, General Reginald Dyer, eventually used eight Gurkha rifles to go and attack the peaceful protesters in Punjab. Something has gone wrong with this. Okay. Who among the following started the English weekly New India? Whose book was New India? Just answer this, I'm just coming. One Who started as English weekly in New India? Mahatma Gandhi, no? No, sorry. <laughs> Dada by Naraji, no? <coughs> Dada, Dada. Gandhi's paper was opinion. There is also another, another person who actually started New India. Who was that? New India and Commonweal. Ani Ani. The other man, Aroji, grand old man of India, and uh, very early trader. He was a Dadabai was a Liberal Party member. He was a member of House of Commons between 1892 to 1895. And remember, Dadabai Naraji was the second person to contest British elections and was the first Indian and first. Indian to actually win the elections. The first Indian to contest the elections was Banerjee, Vomesh Chandra Banerjee. <clears throat> he was a member of the, the other way was also a member of the second international along with uh, Kautsky and uh, Plakano, socialist grouping. Okay, next. First of the following statements about Swami Vivekananda. He founded Ramakrishna Mission in uh, 1897. Lectures from Colombo to Almora are a book based on his various lectures. Which of the most statements these are, are correct? Sir? <laughs> Both are correct. Swami Vivekananda, also called as Narendrana Datta, Indian Hindu monk, disciple of the 19th century Indian mystic Ramakrishna. He founded the Ramakrishna Mission, which uh, conducts extensive uh, relief work in healthcare, disaster relief, rural management, tribal welfare, and higher education. The only form of okay. International Congress as microscopic minority has been described by. Who said Congress is microscopic minority?
Duffer the Dufferin. Duffer the Dufferin. Was the guy who called it microscopic minority. See, there was another guy who said that my intention in India is to ensure Congress's demise. Who was that? Who said that he is in India only to make sure Congress ends its existence? Ye kaun tha? Cousin. By the way, one more current affairs I actually forgot to talk is the Khalistan problem. Something happened, guys. Somebody killed Nijar. Now somebody has also killed uh, Guru Patwan Pannu. So Khalistan Tiger Force and Sikh for Justice, dono bhi gaye. And for the first time, India gave <coughs> very categorical, <coughs> clean, clear-cut warning to Canada and its friends. You can't keep encouraging Khalistan and expect friendly relations with India. Or uh, Sunak and his gang ko bhi bol diya gaya hai. Khalistan dikhega to free trade agreement to bhul jau. It's a good thing. I mean, look, this is my point of view, guys. India is at the at look, India is at that juncture of um, geopolitics where no country can actually, particularly West, cannot be dumb to uh, to really support Khalistan. See, Khalistan is now a forgotten case. It's a lost case scenario. ये कभी नहीं आने वाला. It's a lost case scenario. Oh, oh, Gaya. I mean, if they had to go to they should have tried it in the 90s. Now it's too late. Ugh. It's not coming. No. Pooja. Where the... India is a very peaceful country. I mean, to be honest. Particularly, Khalistan issue, we have been very peaceful. We were like, ठीक है, complain कर रहे तो करने दो, victims है, करेंगे. But I think uh, last week, they put a sort of, sort of ad, where um, they were identifying uh, diplomats of India in Canada and saying कि इनको मार दो. ना, आठ तारीक को है. See, Indira Gandhi का तो ठीक है, Indira Gandhi का हुआ, we were like, we complained and we were like, ठीक है, यार कर लो रो, तुम्हारा रोना रहेगा, रो लो. But the minute, People, Khalistani gangs actually started identifying individual diplomats, sharing their details and, dis and declaring to kill those diplomats. High Commissioner ko marne ki, uh, Indian High Commissioner in Canada's uh, photo was shown and uh, they were uh, attacked. <laughs> See, Sandeep, let us not be ignorant. Yes, they some of these were victims of the 1984 Delhi riots. So, unko rahega yaar, wo to, I mean, we, we need to be very, very clear on this. Ant mein Bhindran wale ko support karne wale Congress hi the. So, Bhindran wale was their own, Indra's own Frankenstein monster who then cost India, Indra her life. That's the reality of it. 84 mein bahut maare the. 84 riots mein many Sikhs paid the price. Naturally, wo frustration to rahega. And many of the people, if you see, who are actually protesting now, are victims of those 84 rights only, who have escaped to Canada and now they are crying there. Theek hai. As long as you are crying, you are protesting, we are okay. I mean, the minute you start circulating posters on the internet, just like ISIS, just like how ISIS does, identify karke, ye commissioner ko maar do, ye council ko maar do, India thought they crossed the line. Yes. The minute they said they want to kill commissioner, India stepped in. 
नहीं हमने तो सीधा बोल दिया कि आठ तारीख को लेट जुलाई को अगर खालिस्तानी माफिया का सेशन हुआ और अगर इंडियन डिप्लोमेट को कुछ भी हुआ तो कनाडा एंड हर फ्रेंड्स कैन फॉरगेट ऑल बायोलैटरल रिलेशनशिप्स एंड ट्रस्ट मी गाइस ट्रस्ट मी फॉर यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका कनाडा इज नथिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ इंडिया अगर पॉइंट आए कि कनाडा या इंडिया चूज करना है तो यूएसए विल आउटराइट क्लियरली ओपनली सेलेक्ट इंडिया क्योंकि रिश्ते वहां तक आ चुका है तो ट्रूडो को ट्रूडो डिड गेट द कॉल फ्रॉम वेर एवर ही हैड टू सो यस्टरडे ट्रूडो वॉज क्राइंग ट्रूडो का रोना चल रहा था माइक पे कि हम करते हैं आई बीन ट्राइंग टू वर्क विद पीस वी वॉन्ट टू रिस्ट्रिक्ट टेरिज्म कल उसका पूरा रोना शुरू हो चुका था क्योंकि ही अंडरस्टूड वॉट ही हैज डन ट्रूडो रियलाइज ही क्रॉस द लाइन नहीं नहीं जयशंकर डिड नॉट इवन केयर टू टॉक टू ट्रूडो डायरेक्टली ही इन्फॉर्म द राइट पर्सन हु हैज टू इन्फॉर्म हु हैज टू बी इन्फॉर्म बाइडन को बोल दिया था मेरे हिसाब से तो बाइडन को बोल दिया था देख भाई ट्रूडो को बोल दे वरना तू भी पिटेगा तेरा कैनेडा भी पिटेगा एंड बाइडन वुड कॉल कि यार क्या बेकार का मजाक है यहाँ हम लोग स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनर नेटो की डिस्कस कर रहे हैं और तुम लोगों का ये गलीज रोना खत्म ही नहीं होता बंद करो खालिस्तान की दुकान मैन आई एम प्रिटी श्योर बाइडन वुड हैव गॉट दैट स्टेटमेंट कि क्या रोना है तुम्हारा बंद करो ये दुकान यहाँ हम इंडिया को नेटो में एक्सटेंशन लाने की देख रहे हैं और वहां तुम लोग चुगली कर रहे हो and same message went to rishi sunak and his people and sunak was like khalis khalistan khatam band kar do britain britain ke oxford dictionary se khalistan ki dukan nikal do to khatam ho gaya kal and at the same time somebody killed tiger khalistan tiger force chief nijar and uh, sikh for justice gang uh, leader uh, पटवन सिंह पन्नून तो आफ्टर समबडी किल एवरीबडी इज अफ्रेड ऑफ दैट समबडी आई थिंक इट इज सी इट इज माई पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आई मे बी रॉन्ग एज वेल दैट समबडी आई थिंक इज द इंडियन स्टाइल ऑफ मसाद It's basically Indian Mossad. Somebody is Indian Mossad. Yeah, मुझे लगता है. नहीं, we are doing exactly what Mossad did to Palestinians back after the Munich, <coughs> after Munich killings. That's what Muna uh, Mossad did. चुन चुन के मारा. एक एक को चुन चुन के मारा. और सीधा वार्निंग भी दे दिया कि इजरायली को छेड़ोगे तो पिटोगे हाँ दिस इज माई व्यू एवरीबडी कैन डिनाई दिस बट आई स्टिल थिंक इट इज मोसाद इंडियन मोसाद और खालिस्तान ग्रुप के आधे मोर देन नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द लीडरशिप तो बुढ़ा बुढ़ा हुए हैं तो मेरे हिसाब से निज्जर और पनून के मरने के बाद आई मीन ऑल बुढ़ा 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 भाड़ा गूगल मीट से कि यार छोड़ो यार ये लोग तो अभी मारने पे उतर आए हैं चुप हो जा बहुत हो गया और वहाँ ऐसे ऐसे पैसे भी आने बंद हो गए 
ऐसे इज लाइक हमारे यहाँ पेट्रोल के पैसे ने तुम्हें कहा से दू खालिस्तान के लिए पाकिस्तान गवर्नमेंट हेज स्टॉप ऑल मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज यू नो दिस राइट डीजल का पैसा नहीं मेरे हिसाब से और अब जो भी आईएमएफ से पैसा आएगा उसका तो हिसाब रखना पड़ेगा ना ऐसा नहीं कि कॉल कर लिया हाफिज सईद को बोल दे बाबू ले लो तुम ऐसा नहीं होता ना आईएमएफ मनी यू हैव टू कीप हिसाब अदरवाइज नेक्स्ट मनी वोट कम एंड पाकिस्तान विल रीलॉन्च द प्रोग्राम प्रधानमंत्री भीख मांगो योजना सी एग्जैक्टली गाइस समबड़ी सो हार्टलेस अमृतपाल को भी एक्सीडेंट हो गया यार एक्सीडेंट का सीजन चल रहा है क्या प्रधानमंत्री एक्सीडेंट करो योजना मतलब लोग हार्टलेस पीपल यार I am waiting more for uh, more. I am waiting for more accidents. I am waiting for few more accidents. I want the guy of Babar Khalsa to die. उसका भी accident हो जाना चाहिए. Lorry या car उतर जाना चाहिए. Babar Khalsa का chief को मर जाना चाहिए. That is the guy. He is the guy who did the 1984 uh, Kanishka bombings. Very correct. Bad roads and bad relationships. Pooja. I always say bad roads, bad relationships. See, look. I understand. I'm, don't get me wrong, guys. If the demand of Khalistan was a negotiable demand, we would have negotiated. Unko thoda autonomy chahiye, unko thoda ye chahiye, to thik hai. The problem because <coughs> whatever Tara Singh in 1947 said was right. Kya? हिंदुओं को हिंदुस्तान मिल गया मुसलमानों को पाकिस्तान हम सिख तो बट गए आई अंडरस्टैंड वी अंडरस्टैंड द इमोशन आई अंडरस्टैंड द इमोशन बात करना था कर सकते थे अब बात करने से पहले बंदूक निकालोगे तो हम तोप निकालेंगे तो सिंपल लॉजिक बिफोर यू टॉक इफ यू वांट टू टेक आउट द गन देन वील कम विद कैन इन दू नो हू विल विन वेन गन फायर एंड कैन फायर कैन तो इंडिया विल विन आई मीन I I I always see the point. I mean, I mean, this is my view. I, I understand Khalistan issue this way. Khalistan issue and Tamil Nadu issue are exactly same, almost similar. Both of them were good as long as they were negotiable. But in both the issues, the parties actually took to violence, and they've gone down without a trace. So Tamil Nadu ka issue bhi wahi tha na. Concern genuine tha, approach galat tha, ilam khatam. लॉर्ड मॉन्टैग एंड कैम्सफर्ड primary objective of the proposals is to increase the association of indians in every branch of administration and gradual <coughs> development of self governing institutions in india with a view for progressive realization of responsible government in india as an integral part of the british empire guys are following regarding montag council reforms in 1919 edwin montag secretary of state and lord kemsford the viceroy produced their scheme of constitutional reforms which led to enactment of the government of india act 1919 after the scheme of constitutional reform the provincial provincial legislative councils were elected the majority of their members were to be elected the provincial governments were given more powers under the system of diarchy which of the above statements is or are true 1 and 2 2 and 3 1 and 3 1 2 
आंसर इज डी एडमिन मोंटाक सेक्रेटरी स्टेट लॉर्ड कैंसर वाइस रॉय प्रोड्यूस्ड अ स्कीम फॉर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रिफॉर्म्स व्हिच एक्चुअली लेड टू एनैक्टमेंट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया 2019 द प्रोविंशियल लेजिस्लेचर्स वर एनलार्ज्ड एंड द मेजॉरिटी ऑफ देयर मेंबर्स वर टू बी इलेक्टेड प्रोविंशियल गवर्नमेंट्स वर गिवन मोर पावर अंडर द सिस्टम ऑफ डायरेक्टली under the system some subjects such as finance law and order were called reserve subjects and remained under the control of the governor others such as education public health local self government were called a transfer subjects and were controlled by the ministers responsible for the legislatures diarchy diarchy under the following uh, consider the following statements regarding the powers of governor under the montag comes were reforms under the system some subjects such as finance and law and order were uh, called reserve subjects remained under the control of the governor the governor remained with partial control over the finances after montag comes were reforms governor could moreover overrule the ministers on any grounds that he considered special which of the above statements is or are true okay <laughs> आंसर सी 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 वन एंड थ्री फुल कंट्रोल नो इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस मेट इन स्पेशल सेशन इन बॉम्बे इन अगस्त 1918 अंडर द रेसिडेंट शिप ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नेशनलिस्ट्स टू कंसीडर मोंटा कैंसर रिफॉर्म्स प्रपोजल मोंटा कैंसर रिफॉर्म्स वर अप्रूव्ड बाय कांग्रेस और सॉरी रिजेक्टेड बाय कांग्रेस इन विच ऑफ द कांग्रेस सेशंस लेडेड बाय मौलाना अबुल कलाम आजाद हसन इमाम मदन मोहन मालविया मजार उल हक Hasan Imam Hasan Imam sahab under the president of and his president of August 1919 the government of India 1919 was uh, approved it condemned the uh, modern council reforms as uh, disappointing and unsatisfactory demanded effective self governance instead and uh, congress also refused to act I mean, Surendra Banerji and many senior leaders rejected congress stand they agreed and that's why it was in this session that congress mein se ek group bahar aa gaya tha old moderates indian liberal federation under surendra banerji and people okay guys any background noise too much background noise no
Oh, no lights. Good, good. Anyways, guys, the time is up. I will see you tomorrow morning at uh, 9 a.m. Let us continue the discussion tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And uh, yesterday's PDF I've already shared. Today's PDF also I've already sh sharing. So every day PDFs will be there in the app. Okay. Thank you, guys. You have a nice day. Let us meet tomorrow morning with another set of current affairs and another set of uh, MCQs.